Okay, we're on, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so this is Alex Berry, uh, roving reporter here, and I'm down in our SciTech engineering facility over in uh, Bristol, England, and I'm trying to find out a little bit about new technologies that we're employing over here in our engineering facility. So, uh, ah, who have we got? It? Rich, Rich Neville. Oh, hello. Hello, how are you? <laughs> you're, you're on camera here, and we, we have over here Humphrey. Say hello, Humphrey. Hello. Okay, so I apologise for the shoddy camera work here, but... um. I'm determined to, uh, to explain to everybody at home a little bit about new technologies and, uh, and I would like to talk today a little bit about vibration feedback, force feedback and uh, force sensing. So Rich, look at the camera, come on man. I was going to crash. Okay, just very quickly, I don't care, it's not real, trust me, uh, very quickly, what's the difference between uh, vibration feedback and force feedback? Well, vibration feedback is just rumble. Louder. It's just rumble so your feet spill something through the handle of the stick, but it doesn't actually do anything more than that. Force feedback actually makes the stick actually move, so you'll feel forces of the, whatever you're controlling in the game, be it a car or if it's a plane, then you'll feel the, the way that the, the, you're acting against the air when you're flying the plane. Okay, so we've all played sort of uh, steering wheels with force feedback before, right? Yep. Uh, have we ever used any uh, force feedback in our, in our pro flight products before? Not pro flight, but we have made uh, force feedback sticks in the past. Actually, why would you say we haven't used force feedback before? There's issues with worries about uh, sensitivity and response. Uh, for the force of the force of sticks, certainly in terms of the way they centre. Um, there's also elements of worrying about the realism aspect of it. Some people just don't like the force feedback. They think it interferes with the control of their craft. They'd rather have something that would just, just just fine, sensitive, precise control of their aircraft. That's a good answer. You should be in PR. Really? Yeah. So I want I want to talk to you about a, a new technology that I know that uh, you guys have been secretly beavering away on. And uh, I'm not even sure if we should be speaking about it, but uh, something called force sensing. Yeah. So uh, what's force sensing technology? Well, force sensing is uh, something that is actually used in uh, some, some modern day aircraft, such as Name the F-16 and the F-22 Raptor. So the real aircraft the use real force aircraft sensing technology. Use force sensing technology. Humphrey, this is nonsense, right? Not at all. No, they're, they're real things. I mean, the F-16's been around for a number of decades now, and... Uh, Pilots have got on very well with it. Force sensing. Force so, sensing. Is, is force sensing found in video games a lot? Have we? Um, not as such. No. Typical sticks use displacement sensing, so they, you know the sticks actually physically move, which is what people are used to. Uh, force sensing, the stick doesn't have to move at all. Okay. So I, I, I don't get it, Richard. So, so talk us through force sensing. Well, it's literally you apply pressure to a stick which doesn't move, and the more pressure you apply, the more response you get in game. Okay, so, so I, if you look so here, you've got a, so are, we, are we allowed to film this stick? What's, what stick is this? This is the X-52, which we've rigged up for a, a force sensing mechanism. Okay, so let's just be very clear to the viewers at home. This, this stick by itself, in its current form, is not going to be released. This is, no, this is a pre-existing SciTech X-52 stick. This is something we've just just put put together so we can test this this rig and make sure it works correctly. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. Oh, like, ah, so you can see. So you're actually using the stick... And you're applying pressure left and right, but the stick itself isn't moving. It moves a small amount. You can see that there's a small amount of movement as I move that stick left and right. And we've done that just so that people do feel a, that there is a, an input happening. Otherwise, if it was purely solid, that would be, would be a bit a bit unusual. Okay, so you get you get a little bit of movement. Now. Tiny bit of movement, but you can see that there's no other movement like you'd expect with a normal joy, joy, joystick, where it really would move over to quite quite an angle. So this. that's actually what you find in the real planes, in the real F-16. The real F-16 and F-22 have force sensing sticks. Show us a little more of that, because I'm, so I'm filming the screen. Wow. That's simple, just pressure in input on this. Well, I'm not straining against it or anything. It's You can, and you can increase that if you wish. You can make it so you have to pull really hard on it. But that's going to be, a, uh, you can adjust that to your heart, heart's desire, basically. Make it so that it's as light or as heavy as you want it. Humphrey, did you invent this? Are you a genius? <laughs> that is that is absolutely incredible. So it just goes to show a little bit of the of the innovation and the engineering pr uh, prowess down here in our SciTech engineering office in Bristol. Uh, Richard, come on, you've you've got to tell me what are, what are we going to be what are we going to be using with this? I can't tell you anything about that at all, man. Oh come on, you no. can tell us. No, I'm afraid not. Really? It's all top 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 secret information. How how about if I give you some candy? No, it's not not going to be enough, I'm afraid. Really? No. Okay, so we we're, we're just going to have to we're just going to have to wait and see what amazing goodies these guys in Bristol come up with for uh, for the pro flight. But Absolutely. that's a that's a little bit of a glimpse at force sensing technology, ladies and gentlemen. It's very exciting, and it's coming soon. Absolutely. Thank you. Realism.